All right. So now that we have figured out that problem, the only other thing that I wanted to share with you guys was what are you going to do if you need to identify a HTML table with no ID, just like this example here, that table there, you guys see how it has no ID and this one does and makes it really tough to identify, right? Well, not really. You just have to use one of our locators called by tag name and you can just pass in the tag that you want which in our case it's a table right you guys see that right here this tag is a table so you just have to pass that in and then that's going to return to us a list of web elements right so for example if we come over to firepath here and then rather than doing all that i'm just going to do table enter you guys see how it highlights two tables so that means that we're going to get a collection returned of two objects into our list of web elements. So let me just uncomment this portion. I'm going to comment this out. And then let me run it up to this point. And then we'll take a look at that list of tables. All right, so we're over here. Let me step over this and now hover over this. You guys see that my tables dot count is two. And then if we want to use a certain table, then we just have to pick it using the standard index. See, we can either go with zero or one, and then you can just pick the table that you need. So in this case, it would be one because it's the second table and we would work with that. And in this case, there really is no other way to differentiate the tables because they are exactly the same. They do have these unique titles above them. So you could possibly even use that to help you differentiate. But if those were the same, the only way to identify the difference between them would be the index. And so it was just like with any other tool, right? If two objects are exactly the same and there is no other way to identify them, you have to use the index and it really sucks but that's what you have to do and you just have to hope that the tables don't switch orders or for example that a third table is not added and then these are shifted around and then the index changes usually that does not happen but just bear in mind that using an index should be like a last resort for you guys and if there is a better way to identify the object then you should use it but with all of that said that about wraps it up for us with html tables we completely crushed this section by tackling all of the possible aspects of these HTML tables, how to identify everything. We even learned how to uniquely identify a row and a column intersection and get the value of that intersection and utilize that value for whatever needs we may have.